We received a great comment from our buddy G. Martinez. He wanted to expand upon what we already did in our 13-minute cinematic masterpiece on this leak in coil and vacuum by testing how a digital manifold would do in a pressure test, like the pressure hold method, like the 550s do, the yellow jackets do these. A lot of manifolds are doing this now. I think the S-Man, the new one, also does that. So you can do your nitrogen pressure test for a certain amount of minutes. Now, we're going to use 10 minutes to see what kind of change we can get in this coil. So I'm going to turn the manifold on. We're going to get this thing all juiced up. So we're going to put in about 250 pounds of pressure. There we are. 250 pounds of pressure. Shut the nitrogen off. I'm going to shut these valves off. Everything's shut down. So we're going to enter the pressure hold. We're going to go 10 minutes. Allowable change. We're going to make it, let's see. Let's make it 1%. If I can do that. There we are. 0.8%. Close enough. Pressure decay. Continue. And we're going to give it around 10 minutes. We have to put set P1. So we're going to stay, let's see, let it stabilize a little bit maybe. There we go. And our test begins. We'll have 10 minutes to see what we can do as far as pressure drop. Will this thing fail a pressure test? 10 minutes, 0.8% allowable change. It means if this drops more than 0.8%, we should fail the test. We're going to let this thing take off, and we'll check in with you guys in 10 minutes. 10 minutes later. So we're seeing the final few seconds of this pressure test. We have about 10 seconds left. And over 10 minutes on this leaky, leaky coil, we have dropped around 1 PSI. Now let's see if that will pass or fail our pressure test. Here we have 1, 0, pass. We passed the pressure test. Hey, good. Great news. The coil doesn't leak after all, guys. <laughs> of course it leaks. A lot of time when I was in the field, we would see fluctuations in the pressure. And it wasn't very alarming. You know, refrigerant might still be in the system. This is an older coil. So if we were replacing a different part of the system and we saw a pressure drop of one PSI, we might be like, hey, that's okay. But this sort of proves that there could be a real big issue there. We need to be more diligent with our pressure testing. It might require a longer pressure test, 30 minutes, an hour, higher pressure. But we're already 250 PSI. A lot of times nitrogen regulators won't go extremely high. I think this one I have will go up to around 400 PSI. But it won't go much higher than that. We'll do some more testing. If you have a test in mind, thank you, G. Martinez, by the way, we will do it as long as it's possible and feasible and makes sense. All three of those things. So, guys, we'll get back to the show here. Thanks for watching, and let me know what you think in the comments.